how fitting smoking the cut wearing the cut while in the cut shout out to the cut dispensary the cut flint the cut detroit ganja shout out to chef nate shout out to flint social club um shout out to the ywca of the greater flint um, if you don't know, now you know, it is October. October means many things. Not only is it the 10th month in the 12 year, or 12 year. Not only is it the 10th month in the 12 month year, not only is it Libra season, but it is also Domestic Violence Awareness Month. It is also LGBTQ plus history month. Um, and so many things happened and has happened. It's also Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So it's many things, and I'm probably missing things and leaving things out. Forgive me. Drop what else is going on in the month of October. Oh, it's also my birthday month, October 15th. October 4th was my grandfather's birthday. May he rest in peace. We miss you. We love you. But... This is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and we partnered with the YWCA of Greater Flint. I want to talk more and more about this because I'm constantly talking about toxic masculinity, patriarchy, misogyny, sexism, classism, homophobia, transphobia, biphobia. I'm always talking about the isms and how people are treated based off of their identity and how people are discriminated against and persecuted and marginalized. And I want to talk about domestic violence because unfortunately, a lot of times in our society, as well as our families and communities, domestic violence is is seen as it's sad. Like people really are out here physically abusing and attacking their partners, their loved ones, their husbands, their wives, their girlfriends, their fiancés, you know what I'm saying, their boyfriends, their significant other, their partners, they're beating them. And so many people can relate to this, it, rather they've dealt with it one-on-one -on -one, or somebody that they loved and cared about dealt with it or they saw it being done to somebody else in their family or friend group, right? And while domestic violence does not discriminate, it can happen to cis men, cis women, trans men, trans women, intersex men, intersex women, intersex people, trans people. It can happen to anybody. It can happen to people that are heterosexual. It can happen to people that are bisexual, that are pansexual, that are homosexual, that are lesbian. It can happen to anybody. However, data is data. Okay, and when you look at numbers and data, the percentages show what it is. Unfortunately, women, cis and trans women, women in general, women and feminine people are highly impacted by domestic violence. And typically the abuser is a cis male. It just needs to be said, okay? And that's why I highlight toxic masculinity a lot because a lot of our social problems, in my opinion, notice I said in my opinion, even though there's facts and data to back it up, but my opinion, a lot of our issues boil out of white supremacy, patriarchy, toxic masculinity, classism, capitalism, really. But anyways, misogyny and sexism. I mean, literally, this whole view that it's, you know, we're going to physically beat on the people that we love and care about. And then a lot of times the person that's beating on you is what? Your significant other, your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother. It's somebody that's very close to you that you would never think would put their hands on you and physically attack you or harm you or go out of their way to hurt you. You would never, a lot of people, would never, like when people talk about, well, why don't you leave? Why don't they leave? Oh my God, why would you go back to blah, 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 blah. But here's the thing. It's a cycle of abuse. And also, until you're in the situation, 
you really can't talk about what you would have done because you've never been in that situation. And then also when you look at how manipulation, gaslighting, um, just control and coercion and power dynamics work, you would understand more how people end up going back and forth, back and forth in these toxic abusive cycles. And again, it's hard to cut people off when the person that you're cutting off is somebody that you have a very close connection to. That's your boyfriend, that's your wife, that's your significant other, that's your parent, that's your dad, that's your granny, that's, you know what I'm saying? And I'm giving all of these examples because it's not just cis women, trans women, women in general, feminine people in general that get hurt because yes, men and boys, cis men, cis boys, trans men, trans boys, intersex men, intersex boys, masculine people get hurt too and have are survivors of domestic violence. I'm gonna say this, when you, when you have children, this is another thing, everybody wants to talk, oh, children. Okay, well, let's talk about the children. A lot of children are growing up seeing their moms and dads get their ass beat, be physically assaulted and attacked on a daily basis. What do you think that is doing to that child's psyche? They said, uh, they, they, whoever it is, and let's just keep it real, whoever it is, but let's just keep it real, it's typically who? A cis male. So a lot of times you sitting up, people are watching a daddy beat on a mom. Okay, and then the daddy is beating the hell out of the kids or the step daddy is beating the hell out of the kids and the mom or or it's two women. Lesbians have a high rate of domestic violence. Gay men have a high rate of domestic violence. Cishet people have a high rate of domestic violence. So you got the mom beating on the kids. She's taking out her frustration and anger because she's getting beat on by her man or her girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? Or her partner, or you got the man who's getting beat on by the woman and nobody wants to believe that a man can be getting physically assaulted and abused by a woman. You see how misogyny ends up screwing everybody over. You see how patriarchy ends up screwing everybody over. You see how toxic masculinity ends up screwing everybody over. And I'm gonna tell you why, think about it. If people, the way we view men through toxic masculinity is you're supposed to be strong, tough, you know, you should be able to handle everything that comes your way. You shouldn't cry. You shouldn't have any real emotions outside of you being angry and mad and aggressive and violent, right? But what happens when that's not who you are and your girlfriend is beating the hell out of you? And I want people to understand that violence is violence, right? So it's not just physical abuse, there's mental abuse. There's psychological abuse. There's emotional abuse. There's sexual abuse. There's financial abuse, okay? Violence is violence is what I want people to understand when we're talking about Domestic Violence Awareness Month. It, it, you know, because a lot of people will sit up and be like, oh, but, oh, he didn't hit you, she didn't hit you, they didn't hit you. Whole time, you are suicidal because of the mind games and them making fun of you and them disrespecting you and them putting you down and them cheating on you. Cheating, that's emotional abuse. Like it just needs to start being said and stop downplaying it. But like I said, a lot of times when men go through things, don't nobody believe that he could be getting abused by a woman because the viewpoint is he's the man and he's tougher than her and she's supposed to be the woman and be docile and weaker than him. And that's not always the case. But again, a lot of kids grow up in these toxic, dysfunctional, abusive households. A lot of us are byproducts of that shit. A lot of us have experienced and grew up with that shit. And then you have to think about, like I said earlier, how that impacts your psyche. Because seriously, you sitting up here watching somebody you care about get beat on or you are being beat on. And you, a lot of folks, if you're not careful, you're going to, if you're not careful and you're not conscientious and you're not getting active therapy and counseling, which is another reason why we need universal health care, in my opinion, 
so people can have access to these resources and, and mental health and, can, and it's affordable, it's accessible, it's inclusive, okay? Um, but if you're not careful, you're not paying attention, you're not conscientious, you're not aware, you're not actively going to therapy, counseling, doing the inner work, you will mess around and repeat what you grew up seeing, what you grew up experiencing, what you saw your parents go through, your grandparents go through, your siblings, whoever you saw dealing with this go through. And a lot of people, you know, you don't realize that you're going after people that resemble what you grew up with. And this is another reason why, you know, we thought we had moved past the wife beaters. Um, and, and men beating on women. Uh, you know, the Violence Against Women Act. Why do you think we have to pass special policies to protect specific groups and demographics? Because they are more at risk for the violence. People aren't just making this shit up. Women literally can't walk around at night, can't walk around during the day gotta watch everything they say and do because they might be as physically sexually attacked by somebody and this isn't and again this isn't to say that men aren't being abused case in point somebody posted this on on social media and i've been talking about this in my videos if you watch my videos so many men especially cis men so many cis men's first experiences with sex was through abuse and it needs to be talked about more um so many first experience was literally them 12 uh, you know 10 11 12 13 with an older woman and or man but in this particular i'm talking about the women who are predators older women you got grown ass women Adults sleeping with little boys, little teenage, little preteen boys, little teen boys, little boys, kids. Oh, and then in toxic masculinity and patriarchy and sexism and misogyny, this little boy has been sexually assaulted and abused and molested and raped. And y'all sitting up, hey, hey, that's what I'm talking about, bro. You got it in, bro. You got some pussy, bro. You a man. You a man whole time this 22 year old girl woman is sleeping with a 15 year old and y'all think that shit is okay you think he's the man on the campus whole time he's being sexually molested and abused and then you wonder why we have the problems that we have so again when we talk about domestic violence know the statuses pay attention to what's going on around you and if somebody is dealing with domestic violence, dealing with mental abuse, physical abuse, sexual abuse, emotional abuse, financial abuse, if you're dealing with these things, know that we care about you, that you matter, and there are resources. There are resources out here to help you. And y'all, if you see shit and you know things ain't right or you starting to speculate, Go to the proper authority or try to intervene or something. Now be safe, be safe, because we know how that goes. A lot of domestic violence situations can end up getting uh, bystanders abused, physically abused and or killed, so I understand. But there are resources and support out here and I just wanted to bring that up because we're doing an event today. You know, um, I do a lot of community work, um, and one of those community things is we host a lot of different events that are free uh, to low cost. And the reason why is because we want to build with our community. We want people to know that they are welcomed. We want to support local businesses. Um, we want to support black-owned businesses, people of color-owned businesses, women-only businesses. Um, um, Gen X, Millennials, and Gen Zer, young folks, businesses, and um, LGBTQ+. We want to support our entire community, but we also want to make sure that we highlight certain demographics because historically and currently, it hasn't always been that way. 
and we still got a long way to go. But we want to make sure that we put our money back in our communities at the end of the day. Um, each one, teach one, lift, um, lift every voice and sing. That's really the mindset, you know? Drink your H2O, your water. And um, wear purple, purple, pink, black, orange. There's so many colors that you can wear in the month of October. You know, purple is a color that is worn to spread awareness about domestic violence. Pink is breast cancer awareness, but I feel like it should be pink and blue or whatever, or purple. Because everybody to get breast cancer is not a woman. You have men who can get breast cancer in half. Um, however, yes, it does predominantly impact cis women. Um, but they're not the only demographic that can get it, right? Of course, black and orange is Halloween. But yeah. You have your options um, at the end of the day. I just wanted to make a video to discuss that. Um, and yeah, I'm out.